Hey, it's Chris from Rowe Dental Laboratory, and today I'm covering a topic on intraoral scanners, and the first question we get is, should I go digital? And the next question is, what is the best intraoral scanner out there? So uh, as far as the first question, should I go digital? The answer is, of course, yes. Uh, it's, time, it's time to kind of move into the digital world if you're not there. There are many reasons why, and we actually have a little calculator, and I know you've, you've probably seen over the years all these little calculators on on uh, the cost savings and all that. But we have a, a more advanced one on our website here. If you just click the link below and that'll take you to the calculator to help decide kind of uh, where you're gonna be with uh, switching over to digital. Uh, as far as cost savings, obviously the one we've heard for the past, I don't know, 30 years, um, the impression. Of course, you're gonna save on impression material with your digital scanner. Everybody knows that. Uh, but now also there are lab savings, not just with crowns, but with multiple products as well, so you'll have a lab savings. There is a turnaround time, it's faster turnaround time, not only obviously just to get the, the case to the lab, it's immediate, you can connect right to our portal and send it to us, uh, but you're also not sending it in the mail, that's one to two days, so you're saving a couple days there. Once it's in the lab, because it's digital, we don't have to convert anything to digital, so you're gonna save on turnaround time in lab as well. With the boxing up the materials, you won't have to do that anymore. That saves your staff time. They can be doing something else instead of boxing up your cases. So another advantage leading to time savings would be accuracy. Now, once you get proficient with your intraoral scanner, uh, it's, it's, it is gonna be a more accurate impression sent to the lab. And again, saving time, because if, if you have to have the patient back in, that can also, you know, it takes your chair time that you're not able to bill out. So now we're gonna move on to what is the best scanner? And as far as the lab is concerned, as long as you can take a great intraoral scanner, we don't really have a preference on the scanner, but what you wanna look out for, of course, some of the scanners out there are faster acquisition than normal. Uh, you wanna look at the speed. If you're gonna take a full arch scan, you wanna make sure that you're not, you know, just, it doesn't take minutes to do that. You know, you should be able to do a full arch scan under a minute fairly quickly. Um, I would also recommend trying to scan a denture with the intraoral scanner. So get some demos done, uh, try multiple scanners out there, scan a denture, try and you know, maybe scan the dentulous ridge or just scan a palate, have one, someone in your office sit down and, and scan the palate. So again, just checking for accuracy and how good that scanner can uh, acquire the, uh, the impression itself. Another thing we always tell doctors as far as what scanner to go with, make sure you have training and one-on-one -on -one training. There's video training available as well that you can refer back to, but uh, the training's super important and make sure that if you wanna have a rep and a rep that's good, company that's reputable, and you have someone to go to, and if you, if you need someone retrained, make sure they offer that as well. So the rep itself is very important. The company the training is very important and all the support around that. So that's kind of where we go as far as what is the best. Uh, if there's any other questions on um, digital scanning, uh, give us a shout here below in the comment section. We'll get back to you right away. Please visit our website and also uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.